Okay, welcome back. We are still in Berlin, you know, the European Research and Education Conference. And on my right, we have Kay. So Kay, why don't you introduce yourself on what you are doing? Okay, so I'm Kai Arne with uh, Sun now since over a year. I've been with MySQL since 2001, and I've been working with the MySQL user community as VP uh, community since 2005. So Kai is also from Scandinavia, from Finland, and I would like to know why is Scandinavia so successful with open source? I think it has to do with uh, what the way MySQL, uh, with the way the Scandinavian countries feel about working towards the common good. So we have something called Allemansrätten in Swedish, every man's or woman's right to use certain common resources. And we also in Finland have another concept called Talko, which means working just for you, when you are building your house, uh, he and I, we come help you with the implicit wish that, well, perhaps when I'm building my house, you might come help me. Mm -hmm. so there's, th there's a cultural thing uh, with the Scandinavian countries and open source. Yeah, and that's really what we love about Scandinavia. Was that the same uh, secret sauce behind MySQL's success? Was that the same thing, like all people's right to develop something and I think it's a cu cultural thing. I also think it's a, a, a cultural thing of belonging to a country which is a small one. We in Finland or they in Sweden, they know that not everybody on this planet behaves like we do. We know that people elsewhere are different. That's a more difficult thing to understand if you come from a big country like mm -hmm. Germany or even more so the United States. Mm -hmm. They know that people somehow are different, but in which aspect that manifests itself, it's not easy to know. For us, coming uh, almost instantaneously, having to do, do business abroad, we learn it very quickly that people are different. And we know that you're blogging and you're making speeds all around, so how can people follow you? So, uh, the easiest place to go would be to go to kai, K -A -J, dot arne, A -R -N -O, dot F -I. That's my homepage, and there I aggregate all my blogs. I make a point of blogging in many languages. I have actually blogs in 11 languages, but three of them I regularly update, so that's in English, German and Swedish. Wow. Do you also blog in Turkish? I have four blog entries in Turkish. Wow, that's cool. And so, what are your last advices for the people who are maybe going to graduate soon and uh, who would like to find jobs? And I would say consider strongly open source. So uh, open source is a way, regardless of whether the, the economy is doing good or bad, to create something good for the rest of the people on this planet. And as you've seen from MySQL and other uh, projects that have become a company, it can also become a commercial success. So thank you so much, Kai. Thank you. Interview. That's awesome. <laughs>